News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. It's been nearly a week since we have seen mostly sunny skies, and the good news is we got a series of sunny days in the forecast. Taking a live look over York right now, just some wispy cirrus clouds and temperatures a little on the cool side still. Right now, 57 degrees thanks to that easterly winds at 8 miles per hour. But look at the kicker dew points now down into the 40s. That's that drier air surging down from Canada. All is quiet right now in Super Doppler rate. But you can see that line of clouds from north of Chambersburg, north of Gettysburg, mainly from the south of York uh, down towards the Mason Dixon line. So if you're watching us in southern portions of our viewing area, you may still have some clouds lingering around through the evening hours and perhaps the overnight. But for the majority of the Susquehanna Valley, the clouds have finally started to clear on out. So here's your News 8 Storm Team forecast for this evening. Temperatures sitting cool in the lower 50s. Some spots will drop into the 40s. And then as we head the overnight hours, areas that stay clear overnight will be dropping into the mid 40s. Those who have some clouds will be closer to 50 degrees. And there also is the chance for some valley fog for tonight and also tomorrow night. Much of the day will feature mostly sunny skies with mild conditions back up closer to seasonal averages with highs returning to the mid to upper 60s. Our high today was only 62 degrees and the low this morning was 50 and just a trace reported out at Harrisburg International Airport. And that's a lot of rain now. We have seen nothing but rain reported every day for the month of October. We're back above average for the month and also for the year we're now more than two and a half inches above average. Here's where we stand right now. Temperatures are holding in the lower 60s that have some sunshine in 50s. A little bit cooler off to the west where it's still cloudy in Chambersburg and also Lewistown. Right now, you are at 55 degrees. It's 50 at this hour in Johnstown, but lower 60s to mid 60s that's seeing some sunshine. Again, it's all thanks to the winds primarily coming out of the east northeast. Still pretty gusty right now. Atlantic City at 23 miles per hour, currently at 8 in Harrisburg. Our winds will continue to die down. And you can certainly see where the drier air is coming from. Dew points in the 40s and even 30s in upstate New York still holding in the 50s over western PA. So winds will continue to move in from the east northeast as we head through the night tonight and also for the majority of our Monday. That's thanks to that large ridge of high pressure that has developed over southern Canada. And finally, that upper level low that has been spinning along the Gulf Coast is moving out to sea. But look what's going on across South Carolina. Still getting widespread heavy rainfall. Let's talk about it. Look at the black here from Columbia just to the north of Cross. This is rainfall just today. Some spots picking up an additional 9 to 10 inches of rain today on top of the 15 to 18 inches that they had yesterday. Things will finally start to improve across South Carolina as we head into Monday evening. So here's a look at the predictor. For us, high pressure continues that nice dry air moving in across uh, from New England down into the Susquehanna Valley. And it's not until Monday evening when the storm system finally starts to lift away. There still is a chance for some showers, though, along the Carolina and South Carolina coast. High pressure will start to build in across the mid-Ohio Valley. That will start to turn out of the northwest as we head into Tuesday morning. Could see some clouds return to the area as we head into Wednesday as a cold front will cross the state. But I think the moisture out ahead of it and back behind this front are rather dry, so I'm not expecting any rain. Here's the latest on Hurricane Joaquin. Unfortunately, Bermuda now getting covered with some of the outer rain bands and also strong storm surge right now over the island. It is down to a Category 2 storm. This storm system continues to stay away from the U.S. coastline and weaken back down to a remnant low by the time we head into Wednesday and possibly actually may bring some British Isles some rain by the time we head into next week and just mainly as some rain. But again, storm way away from the United States coast. Line. Temperature is improving, and how about sunshine? Back up to near 70 degrees by Tuesday, and then we hold there. Rain chances stay low until we see another cold front return to the Susquehanna Valley, but that is not until next Friday. We'll